One of the most conservative members of the US Supreme Court, Justice Antonin Scalia, has died at the age of 79. A row has erupted over who should be allowed to nominate his successor. Flags fly at half-mast for Antonin Scalia, the voice of conservatism in the Supreme Court for three decades. He was a strong advocate for gun rights, privacy and consistently voted to let individual states ban abortion. The significance of his death at this time cannot be overstated. It changes the balance of the court from five conservatives and four liberals and allows Barack Obama the rare opportunity to nominate a successor to swing the court into a liberal majority. I plan to fulfill my constitutional responsibilities to nominate a successor in due time. Now, there will be plenty of time for me to do so and for the Senate to fulfill its responsibility to give that person a fair hearing and a timely vote. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has already vowed not to confirm Obama's nominee, a pledge echoed by the two senators running for president during last night's Republican debate. I do not believe the president should appoint someone. And it reminds us of this, how important this election is. Thank you. Someone on this stage will get to choose the balance of the Supreme Court. We have 80 years of precedent of not confirming Supreme Court justices in an election year. But Kennedy was confirmed in 88. No, Kennedy was confirmed in 87. He was, he was, appo he was appointed in 87. He was appointed in 88. Changing the makeup of the Supreme Court would reshape American legal decisions for years to come. But given how divided the political system is currently, that battle is likely to be bitter and long. Katrina Perry, RTE News, Washington.